Hey, uh, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> my video just, I don't know, for some strange reason, if I get any kind of message whatsoever, it stops my video immediately and won't let me go back to continue it. So, sorry. So basically now this is part five. Uh, but what I was talking about earlier, uh, I'm uh, 6'2", about 225 pounds, and technically you're supposed to carry, you can carry... 25% um, of your weight. So for me, that would probably be around 60 to 65 pounds. Uh, with all of this stuff together in the duffel bag, it only weighs about 23 pounds. Uh, that's everything that I have shown you so far. Uh, everything that's, well, basically this is my bug out, or it's my prepper tub. I put everything in, in here. Uh, if I fill this tub up, you know, I'll just buy it or get another tub and add more to it, uh, which I do plan on doing. Um, I'm not done, nowhere near done with everything that I want to get, um, but I'm going to try to keep the weight down. Um, but everything that I would be taking on my back so far only weighs about 23 24 pounds so that's really not that bad i could probably add another 30 pounds um but i'm also carrying i'd also be carrying firearms and ammo uh but i am I'm, I'm working on getting a hand cart because I, I i do watch doomsday preppers for the purposes of of you know just learning from them you know trying to get ideas on on what i want to do myself and there was one where this guy was actually carting stuff around in a big hand cart had big bicycle tires on it and you know that allowed him to actually navigate through you know fair or well slightly rough terrain and i think that would be a really good idea if i can get a hand cart and put 300 pounds worth of stuff in it and roll it around through the woods Maybe I'd have a, you know be a little bit better off because then I could actually take all of my ammo because that's one that's the biggest issue I'm worried about. Ammo is heavy, and I don't want to take only what I can carry and leave everything else behind. Um, so that's definitely something I have to work on is is my cart um, and and other stuff to add to it. This is something else. This is a miniature baseball bat. Uh, I made this in high school. Yeah, it's got a flat or two flat sides on it, but the ch the block of wood was not very big, and I just wanted to make something oak. So it's the last piece of oak he had, so I made this on the lathe. They wasn't actually going to let me take it home because it's a weapon, and this was back in 1999. So their strictness has gotten a lot worse over the years. Um, but it's solid oak, red oak. Uh, I made it on a lathe. It's not great craftsmanship, but hey, it fits my hand, and if I ever had to actually use it as a weapon, I'm pretty sure it would hurt. But I also have an extending baton, uh, one of the steel ones. It's in my car, along with one of my boot knives. I always keep something to start fire. Uh, I have an axe in my car. I have uh, a tarp. I have uh, um, uh, a blanket in there. I want to get some wool blankets. Uh, sportsmansguide.com is actually a good place to get military surplus stuff. Uh, and that's actually fairly cheap for like 30 bucks, or maybe, I think it's 25, 30 bucks, I don't know. But you can get um, a three pack of wool blankets. Uh, from Sportsman's Guide. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing that because uh, wool is the only thing that will keep you warm even when it's wet. Um, and there are going to be a lot of situations where you could be wet in the wilderness and you want to stay dry and warm. So if you do get wet, you want a warm blanket or a, a wool blanket because it will keep you warm. Um, well, supplies wise, I think that's most of it. I don't really have much of anything else uh, like I said I've been prepping for about a year and a half and there are some things I have 
some things I don't have, some things I really need that I don't have, but like I said, I wanted the ex I wanted to get all of the expensive stuff first. Get it done, get it out of the way. Uh, that scent blocker suit was given to me by my dad, so that's free. Um, most of the army clothes, like my the duffel bag in there and my uh, eight or my ACU field jacket, you know, that all came from the army. Uh, that toboggan I got for free. Uh, here's the pants for the suit, which I also got for free. Uh, well, of course, it was the suit. I got the whole suit from my dad, as I said. Uh, those pants I got at Goodwill for like shit, three bucks, I think. Then, um, oh, oh, yeah, there was one other thing that I didn't go over before. Because it was another one of those, oh, your video just ended. Either start over or, you know, make a new one. This is camouflage face paint. This is this is mil spec. This is the stuff you get from the army. It is water waterproof and sweat proof. You can't really do any better when it comes to face paint than this stuff. And it's cheap. You can buy this tube for a uh, dollar, two dollars. I mean, it's not cheap, cheap. But it's a hell of a lot better quality than any of that garbage you're going to get from Walmart that, you know, for Halloween, stuff like that. You want this stuff. This is good stuff. Um, Alright, so that's basically all of the supplies and strange things that I have. And Oh, wait, I forgot. There's this thing, too. It's a three-pack of bandanas. Two-pack, sorry. These can be used for... You know, filtering debris out of your water, uh, probably even carrying things in. I can't really think of many other uses that you could get from them. I, mean, it, I guess you could use them as washcloths if you needed to. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of things you could use them for. I just, it right offhand, I don't know. So, and I, that's another uh, Dollar Tree thing. I got that for a buck. Um, Oh, and, you know, just raise your spirits and keep you busy or occupied or whatever. When things suck, it's always fun to have some cards. Of course, it's also better when you have people to play cards with. Playing solitaire gets boring after a while. Of course, I have a girlfriend, and if anything happens, you know, I'd definitely be taking her with me. And my mom and my brother. I don't really know m much about you know, what my grandparents would do in that situation. Um, but it is figured that most of the elderly would probably not survive this, uh, this scenario. So, yeah, it's a crappy thing to think about. None of us want to see our grandparents pass away or, you know, starve or whatever. Uh, I'd, I'd do anything in my power to help them. But, you know, it, it really gets to a point where Minimum wage, you know, is, is hard enough to pay one or to take care of yourself with minimum wage. Taking care of an entire family is is utterly impossible, you know, when you have all the other stuff that you have to pay for, like rent and insurance. Now, I'm not even talking about health insurance, but I'm not going to even get started on that. Forcing us to pay for something we don't want or need is is wrong, but... If this is going to actually help me get insurance, because I have quite a few health issues that uh, could possibly prevent me from getting insurance. So if this is going to help me, then whatever. But I'm probably going to end up on Medicaid because I don't make enough money to pay. I mean, if it was like if I could get health insurance for 20 bucks a month, I'd be fine. But anyway, that's a completely different. Topic. It's a completely different conversation that I might have in a later video. I do get pretty high strung when it comes to politics because they ain't doing it right. They're nowhere near doing it right. But anyway, it's getting near 10 minutes. I need to end this video so that I can go on to the next video uh, so that I can, you know, show my guns and stuff like that. All right. See you, see you later.